Hi guys, so today's topic is SGSN and GGSN. SGSN and GGSN are two network nodes that are used in 2G GSM networks and 3G UMTS networks. SGSN stands for Serving GPRS Support Node and GGSN stands for Gateway GPRS Support Node. SGSN and GGSN are two groundbreaking network nodes that introduce the packet switch mobile data that we use today. When a mobile phone is being served by GPRS, Edge, HSPA, and HSPA Plus technologies, that is when GGSN and SGSN are serving you. When GSM networks were launched, at that time they only had the circuit switch technology. The circuit switch technology in mobile networks is only good for voice calls and SMS. When GSM networks were introduced in the early 1990s, at that time, the internet was not as common as it is today. Therefore, the internet was not really seen as a customer need at that time. However, by the mid-1990s, when internet started to become popular, that is when the need for mobile data came into existence. The circuit switched GSM networks had a capability called circuit switch data that could enable mobile data using the circuit switch technology. However, it was not very efficient. Later, an update, High Speed Circuit Switch Data or HSCSD was introduced to enhance CSD. In order to deal with the growing demand of the internet, a new methodology was needed in mobile communications. And that is when Packet Switch Technology was introduced. In 2G GSM networks, the technology that introduced Packet Switch was GPRS or General Packet Radio Service. Soon after GPRS, another enhancement called EDGE or Enhanced Data for Global Evolution was introduced. SGSN and GGSN are the two network nodes that enable GPRS and EDGE technologies. SGSN and GGSN are the two network nodes that were added to the core network of 2G GSM networks. When 3G UMTS networks were introduced, they continued using SGSN and GGSN nodes. After the introduction of packet switch technology, the mobile core network was broken down into two parts. The first part was circuit switched, which was led by the MSC Mobile Switching Center as part of the core network. The other part was led by SGSN that took care of the packet switch capabilities. It basically means that both MSC and SGSN are counterparts. Since SGSN is a mobile core network entity, just like the MSC, it has similar responsibilities. SGSN takes care of mobility management for mobile data, billing, and also management of data sessions. If you look at the 2G GSM mobile network architecture, you will see that SGSN is connected to the BSC, which is connected to the BTS, which provides communication to mobile phones. On the other side of SGSN, you have GGSN, which is Gateway GPR Support Node. GGSN is like a router that connects the SGSN to the outside IP world. For example, the Internet and X.25 networks. Similarly, on the 3G UMTS side, SGSN is connected to the RNC, the Radio Network Controller. The RNC then connects to Node B, which provides wireless connectivity to mobile phones. The 4G LTE networks are packet switched only. It means that there is no circuit switch entity. The equivalent of SGSN on the 4G LTE network side is Serving Gateway or SGW. The Serving Gateway or SGW is then connected to PDN Gateway or Packet Data Network Gateway. Packet Data Network is a router just like GGSN. Thanks for watching this video guys. I've written a very comprehensive post on SGSN and GGSN and the differences between these two network nodes. If you want to read all about SGSN and GGSN and the differences between these two, have a look at the link below in the description.